Well, hello and welcome to Create Talks. Woo Hope you guys had a great, great new year as well. And we're, we're excited about 2018, what God's going to do. And no. I'm with Sam Pasula. Sam Pasula is incredible. He's from India and he is transforming the world. And you're going to be hearing lots of stories about him. But his passion is music and creativity. Yep. It's kind of in your blood, isn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> and why is music so important for us as believers? I mean, why why do you feel like in your own life, how has it impacted you and, and why is it important for everyone? I, I honestly think that um, music is not a man's idea in the beginning. I think it's God's idea. Uh, even before anyone thought about music, he thought about it. And you know how Bible talks about making melodies in your heart to the Lord. You yeah. know, God has already put a melody in each one of us, no matter if you're a singer, musician or not. Oh, yeah. You know, everyone has a melody in your heart. And we need to discover that melody as we as we go through life. And for me, music has been a passion, not just, you know, uh, something that I love to listen, but it, it's been my passion. I have always dreamt about uh, uh actually birthing this moment of music you know yes totally i totally yeah. agree it's huge isn't it it is hey share about the 40-day challenge because what we do as an intern team is we do yeah. a 40-day challenge yes. Yes. where people decide on yeah. challenging themselves every yeah. day to grow creatively and what exactly did you do uh -huh. and uh tell me about what you learned about yourself and yeah taking yeah. rest, determ absolutely. determination, and also like failing at times. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you got some good stories. I, I really got some good stories. So Mama T challenged us to do this 40-day creative challenge. All the interns, we were supposed to come up with something creative every day. And I asked God, God, what do you want me to do? I was like, maybe I'll just cover a song. Like, you know, I'll just sing a song in front of the camera every day. Right. I was like, oh, that's not challenge. That's really easy for you. And I was like, what do you mean, God? <laughs> That's probably hard. And God was like, uh, I want you to do something that is going to challenge you. And that's going to actually push you to your next uh, uh, level. Like, and, and, I, and I thought uh, producing a song a day was my challenge. Did you which, hear that? Producing a song a day. We're not talking about a little challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it was scary when I was like her wow. producing a song. Producing one song takes like at least five to ten days even for people who've been doing this for a long time and doing that all in one day was literally sounded like a nightmare but <laughs> but at the same time um, I love that it it actually encouraged me to trust God more than me that's that's what this whole creative challenge is about it's not about you trying to do something it's about actually finding those melodies that god has put in your heart already Come like on. i talked about you know there's a melody in your heart all you have to do is find it and the the challenging uh, part was you know the first 10 days was awesome i was coming with coming up with this great ideas about music and then it was like oh man this all could go on a album or something and uh, i remember after 10 days, it started getting challenging. It really <laughs> started getting challenging where to a point uh, that I was like, God, do I have anything left inside of me? And the funny part is most of the times I felt, oh, I had to get out of my head to, to get what is in God's head. Wow. So I, I literally had to come out of my head and think, oh, but most of the time when you do that, you're afraid. One of the biggest fear of, of an artist is to be misunderstood by people. It's like I've put my whole time, my everything, I hope people like it. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be this. But, yeah. but what this 40-day creative challenge did to me is it broke the fear of judgment inside of me. That's so, so cool, Sam. So when I, so when I produce... Uh, uh, I used to think maybe this people people will hate this because this is not sounding <laughs> to my standards, and I would get messages on that day saying, "Man, you have no idea how much your tracks ministered to me today." I'm like, "What? That I, is awesome. I've have a, I have Come better on. tracks than this." And I was like, and and then people would like text me. It's like I got healed from insomnia. Woo! Come, <laughs> did you hear that? <coughs> That's crazy because I'm like, how. 
how how, how do you work this out god because what i think is trash yeah. for people it's actually gold and and it's beautiful uh and that's that's the cool thing about this 40 day challenge is that is that what you think is failure is actually success to god it's it's you may be thinking that what i'm doing today is not is not really impactful but but god is watching everything that you put heart to and you will see you will see the fruit of it you know and it's amazing cuz didn't like you're almost at the end and then didn't you lose yeah that's crazy yep. you got to share about that yeah i i i was at a point i'm like i i don't think i can do this god like this is it and and god was also teaching rest in in the midst of work which is so yeah uh, like bizarre in the old covenant we 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 rested from uh work yeah in the new covenant we work from rest exactly and and god had to teach me that concept and i was like and 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 i couldn't do it the uh, the more i tried to like you know say this is exactly first thing he had to knock off perfectionism inside of me that's huge uh, isn't it? it because a lot of people are trying to be perfect and and i'm telling you there's no such melody as perfect melody that's right uh there's no such uh tune such as uh oh this is not a great this is a cheesy tune this is bad this is there's no such thing as bad or good it's about the only bad uh, someone someone said something like this the only dishonest note would be the one uh the only bad note is a dishonest one and that's so good and if you're doing it with all your heart no matter how bad you think it is it is good it's going to touch people it's going to touch someone around you and you got to believe that and for me it's that it's that passion it's that belief that you know what i'm doing might not look like really awesome but i have to believe more than my feelings yeah and and go beyond that 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 that's when that that's what gave me strength to do what i wanted to do and and that gave me it's almost like i can't do it in my strength but in his strength i can you know i think the beauty of what you're talking about sam for all of us all of you that are watching is like it's not just about memorizing notes it's not just about rendering a painting well or or getting the right photograph perfect it's about what's yeah. happening inside right right and where our heart is at and how yeah. in tune we are and how it doesn't matter the the outcome what matters Correct. is the process yeah yeah and that's huge and going through obstacles and continuing to be faithful those yeah. are the stuff when you find out yeah. who you truly are and so yeah. if you're there right now and you're thinking about oh my gosh I've got this to do that to do why don't you just rest and work from rest yeah and learn just to let god take over because he has a wonderful things for you that's right uh, if you have any questions to you we're yeah. live so ask us as well Absolutely. but another question for you how can people grow if they continue to develop the skills how can they grow uh developing your skill i really think is the most important thing because a lot of people get confused when they th- when when we say we have a gift they think they know how to use the gift that's interesting yeah uh it's two different things your gift may be free like if someone comes and gives me a, a brand new keyboard and i don't know how to use it that keyboard would lie in that corner for the rest of my life and it's so important that we need to steward what's been given to us that's right um, and on. and when when god gave you this passion to paint passion to do music passion to do something you need to develop that skill like sit 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 with your instrument sit with whatever you know do uh, don't wait till you you I'm like I will only practice if I have this I I remember I used <laughs> to I used to have a little two octave toy keyboard that's what that's where I learned my whole keyboard on I remember I grew up in India I didn't I didn't I didn't grow up with a lot of good stuff you yeah. know I I had to learn with what I had and and that's what passion does to you you won't you won't make excuses exactly. you start developing what you already have and when god sees that he will he will bless you you know who he is faithful in little god will give you give more. more look at the that look at the <coughs> the whole parable of the talents right. it's huge right and some people buried it but then others that used it were given yeah. double or more yeah it's so huge yeah that's that's kingdom too like using simply means to develop it yeah it's 
It's, it's huge. And one of the things, too, that helps to, to develop the things inside of us is giving. And right. I know in our city service, we go out and we minister to people in all different kinds of creative ways. Yeah. And Sam has different groups that go out through music yeah. and touch our city yeah. and do all different kinds of stuff. It's a way that we're blessing others and we're continuing to let the presence of God come. Yeah. And it's such a powerful tool. Yeah. It's just amazing. But um, how share how this how this has impacted businesses and yeah. and impacted other places. It's the the thought of giving is crazy when it comes to creativity because a a creative a, someone who's creative it it is meaningless for them to create if they, if it's not created to give it away. And every artist when he creates something he is creating it to give it away. That's right. And and that's a that's the beautiful thing that we live in and and and, and as a uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm as I'm interning here in third year one of the coolest things that I get to do is send out teams to different parts of the city like um, uh, restaurants businesses yeah. and stuff and just 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 do what they're good at you know exactly. God God can use that like you know there's so many people at Bethel who are amazing at playing music and all that stuff and uh, what we do is we, we, we send them out and we say, even if it's secular songs, like go for it, reclaim them. That's right. You know, just, just sing and see what happens. And because these are not Christian restaurants. These right. are just public restaurants. Right. So we have, to, we have to do things that they're familiar yeah. with. So we wouldn't do a worship song there. R- right, right. We would do a song that everybody would know about and they would get transformed. But a crazy story that happened recently. Yeah, share some testimonies. Um, is one of the restaurants, the steam, uh, one of the team was playing, and this guy who was sitting started sta- started fa- manifest a demon. It's just so oh hilarious. Oh my gosh. <coughs> <coughs> so, as <coughs> as he was manifesting this demon, uh, uh, the the hotel, the restaurant management comes to them and is like, uh, Probably you need to sing some worship songs, and then <laughs> and then it ended up being a worship set in the middle of a restaurant while everyone was eating. People were worshiping, and it's crazy what can Come happen. Come on, it's that's crazy what such can a happen. And then all yeah. of a sudden, this guy was normal, and he just sat down, and then he left. <laughs> it's crazy what you doing what you're good at can actually can change, do, can change the well, world and, around you. And we also go to the Shaskade, which yeah. is, uh, it's like there's there's adults there that have mental handicaps that right. really can't function in society. And so they're, at, they're in this environment and our musicians go. And yeah. I've heard that it's changed the whole atmosphere. It, it did. It's crazy. It's like crazy. they were just very, very like uh, conflicted inside and they got completely radically changed. Absolutely. Which is such a great testimony. Yeah. It, it's crazy because the first time I went into Shaskade, I saw them like, you know, these these, these are the kids who are not really stable in yeah. in their thinking and and they would they were fighting and there was so much confu- uh, chaos around and and we went and we started setting up and we started singing and they start feeling special like <laughs> all of Come a sudden on. all of a sudden they they knew their worth it's 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 wow. the best thing i could live for those moments cuz cuz all of a sudden you're you're making a difference to someone who actually didn't feel worth enough and 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 just because you going there and doing what you're good at makes them feel awesome and yeah it's 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 awesome what what what's happening in the city so th- this is just a little bit of what we do right and yeah it's it's crazy because the power of music the power of any creative form mm-hmm. it not only touches a person in, in their mind but it yeah. touches them in their spirit and right. in their heart right. and in every part and it actually changes the environment it changes right. the heart in people right and what we need to realize like this is god's secret weapon these are yeah. things that you and I take for granted because we're in the church and we think, oh yeah, I feel so great in worship. (laughs) We don't understand. We can take that presence out and we can transform culture and use our gifts to transform people in the secular environment that need a touch. And totally, this is is my heart. What would it look like if people outside the church knew when you sang, when when you sing, something happens? Totally. Uh, 
just like you know you know what's crazy about David and Saul David didn't go and go to Saul and say I want to play to and see demons leave Saul requested David I I think we're going to we're going to live in those days where people will request us to come and sing because when we sing something shift That's and, right. and 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 I and I think it's come awful Come on do you want to see that out there we do I mean, yeah. we we have to go after the greater miracles, which is what Jesus wants yep. us to do. Yep. And one of the things I'd love for you to do is go after the greater miracles in yeah. some words of knowledge right now. Yeah. I know that at Christmas break, you had so many testimonies of oh, touching people, <laughs> yeah. even when you were sick, even when things weren't going well, and bam, people got yeah. saved even on yeah. your way home because yeah. you were able to read their mail. Yeah. Which is so awesome. <laughs> but I yes, really course. want you to, like, if you have any words of knowledge for people yeah. or if you have any sense, just go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just felt the name Mark. I just saw the name Mark and I saw number 14. Uh, if, if you're watching or if you'll be watching this, I just feel like God is restoring uh, your, I, I feel like God is restoring your land. That's what I heard. Um, wow. um, I don't know if it's a literal land, but I feel like uh, there there <coughs> there needs to be the, I, some some land that you 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 lost. Uh, God is re restoring that in 2018, where everything uh, you've been fighting for is going to become easy. It's it's uh, and I and I almost feel like it's it's not your fight. It's it's almost like the fight is uh, the the fight is over. You don't have to fight. All you have to do is go possess the land. Uh, so yeah, and and I also saw someone with the right uh, uh, pain in the right shoulder. Okay. Uh, if you're watching, uh, be healed right now. I feel like God is God. The power of God is just coming right now, and it's it's gonna heal you. Come on. Uh, and and even with the back pain, neck, and I, I feel there's something to do with. Uh, you 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 fell somewhere and because of that you forget things I feel like God is bringing back your memory uh, you're not gonna forget anymore wow. yeah that's so good and and just to tag on to what Sam's talking about I felt like if there's somebody that's watching that was hurt and they cannot use their hands and they're and they use their hands create you use your hands creatively or you mm. know of someone who has this issue, yeah. I believe that God is speaking. If they move their hands just in worship, turn on some worship music, I saw God healing people mm. and really transforming them to where they could actually play or create mm. in ways that they couldn't before. Yeah. And I also honestly feel like there was like um, something that happened to where you stopped creating mm. from this and it's actually going to be it was blocking you and we break that lie off of you because today is your day of breakthrough wow. and, wow. Uh, and I also yeah. feel like there's somebody named um, uh, the word and it, it's like it's not just mark but there's like a John mark there's somebody that has a name John mark and mm. you have been dealing with like a really bad problem with, with either scoliosis some sort of a curvature of the spine Mm. And I saw the Lord uh, break stuff off of your mind mm. that had been plaguing you about fear oh, that you're never going to be able to do what you love. You're never going to get married. There's certain things that you've thought about your future that have limited you. And John Mark, God's releasing you to dream again that he's going to heal you and he's going to set you free mm. and help deferred. He's going to break that stuff off in Jesus Amen. name. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Well, Sam, we want you to impart yeah. and just to like release the presence yeah, of God for absolutely. people. Go, just whatever you feel. Yeah, God, I thank you for who is watching right now, and I just pray that God that you would birth such a passion in them that their passion will take them to places that they never dreamt of. And I yeah. just pray that God that it would it would not just take them to places, but God will open doors. And God, I pray for I I pray for divine connections. And I thank you for yes. divine strategies and God that they would know they would start uh, composing melodies and uh, start on. tapping into the heavenly uh, melodies and God they will pull down what's in heaven on earth and I pray that I almost feel like God is giving keys to people uh, in in the form of songs I feel yeah. like God is giving keys to people in the form of songs it's like almost when you sing 
these songs people's hearts are going to be uh, unlocked uh, people's finances are going to be unlocked so god thank you that you are giving them beyond what they asked for mm-hmm. so god we just we just pray that god that you you would increase their passion to pursue and to go after their dreams and their talents and to steward what's been in them the gift uh, i just pray that god that you would give them heart to craft their skill amen 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 hey well thanks for joining thank you sam for coming and Absolutely. and just check out like check out what god has for you there's just so much more even on my online store check that out teresadebman.com i have create 28 that's just launched yeah. <laughs> which is a 28 day journey into really unlocking the things inside of you like we talked about with the 40 day challenge yeah helping you to break off lies or so things that keep it's you really good. And so i have a video plus i have content and i have different things that will help you to grow so check that out and we'll see you next week and remember you're born to create yes <laughs>